SQL Sentry employs a comprehensive and reliable notification system for SQL Server, analysis services, Windows Task Scheduler, Oracle Jobs, and SharePoint Timer Jobs. A wide variety of response actions are provided for event status, runtime thresholds, or performance conditions. And the SQL Sentry notification system is agentless, fault tolerant, and has no dependencies on SQL database mail or any other services on your monitored servers. Before setting up notifications, you want to create at least one user to receive the emails or pages that will be sent. You may have already created one with the Quick Start Wizard when first installing. Once you have a user in the system, you're ready to configure notifications. Email notifications can be applied for any condition across all your servers at once with just a few clicks of the mouse. For example, it's common a DBA would want an email notification any time a job failed on any server you're monitoring. From the Start page or the All Devices view, go to the General Actions pane. You notice at the top of the pane it says Object All Devices. This confirms to me that any settings made here will be applied to all my servers currently being watched by SQL Sentry. There are well over 100 different conditions to which SQL Sentry can watch for and respond for performance events, uh, top SQL blocks, deadlocks, to job failures, and performance counter thresholds. If I want to configure an email notification any time a SQL job fails, I can simply expand that condition, check my send email box here, select my individual users or groups of users that I want to receive that email whenever a job fails, and I'm done. Now any time any job fails on any server that I'm watching with SQL Sentry, an email notification will be sent out with all the runtime details and the error message associated with the failure. Additionally, I can override the inherited settings for an individual server and even an individual object simply by clicking on it in the navigator pane and making the desired changes. So for example, on this one server, maybe I want somebody else to receive the email notifications. I click on that server. Notice that's what's listed at the top of the pane here now. So any changes that I make will only be applied to that one server or failures on that one server and effectively override the global settings for this server. So be it a different email recipient or specify a different action, anything like that. Same thing at the individual job or other object level depending on the condition that we're talking about. More details explaining SQL Sentry's settings hierarchy can be found in the Actions and Settings pane topic in the user guide. If you have any technical questions or would like to place an order, please don't hesitate to contact us.